Hi, I'm Brett Premack, aka Jazz Video Guy. This is the main page of my Jazz Video Guy YouTube channel, featuring all of my videos. I've got about a little over 9 million views and nearly 10,000 subscribers. The top 10 videos Sarah Vaughn, Sonny Rollins, Dave Liebman, Count Basie Meets Clark Terry, Cannibal Adderley at the Vanguard. Sonny Rollins meets Miles Davis, Ben Webster, John Lewis and Billy Taylor, Billy Taylor, Duke Ellington, Willie the Lion Smith, and Monk. The Sarah Vaughn video, which I got from a public domain collection, has nearly 400,000 views. It gets, uh, now it's up to about uh, 700 views a day. This is the top 20 list, videos that have gotten over 100,000 views. Sarah Vaughn, Dave Liebman, Sonny Rollins playing Tenor Madness, Count Basie meets Clark Terry, uh, Sonny Rollins meets Miles Davis, Cannonball Adderley at the Village Vanguard, part of the Orrin Keep News producer series, Dave Liebman playing all uh, my favorite things, uh, John Lewis and Billy Taylor, it might as well be spring, Billy Duke and Willie the Lion Smith, that's got 153,000 views, Some beautiful Ben Webster, how long has this been going on? The first video I posted, Sonny Rollins, The Bridge. Uh, John Coltrane video, Billy Taylor's World, I Wish You Knew How It Would Feel to Be Free, Brilliant Corners, another episode of the Orrin Keep News producer series, and something from the subject of jazz, Introduction to Bob Cannonball, another Keep News thing with Bill Evans, very popular episode of the Subject is Jazz series, Billy Taylor's musical director thing from the 50s, I've got some uh, local harmonica players, another Sonny Rollins, and of course, this again is the first Sonny Rollins video I posted, my first YouTube video, March 29th, 2006. This thing still gets hundreds of views a day. Uh, very popular in Italy, Suriname, Mozambique. I also post videos on other sites, including Daily Motion, which is the European YouTube. I've been working closely with Dr. Billy Taylor. I remember the first gig I ever played with him. And he showed up about uh, five, uh, ten minutes before he was supposed to play. Didn't say anything, went right to the backstage and took his horn out and everything. And people applauded. And he turned, uh, his piano is, I'm, I'm sitting here and, uh, you know, looking up at him. And, and he turns to me and says, Vance. Vance? What's a Vance? I still don't do this. That was one of his sayings. It's one of the things he did. Uh, I guess it meant play, because that's what that's what I did. <laughs> I shot some more video with Sonny Rollins this year, including a performance in Orange County, California, and an interview. Went up to his upstate New York retreat uh, just before his 79th birthday. Let's just playing had that sort of, you could f really feel the sensitivity in his playing. So, you know, he, he revealed it in his work probably more than a lot of people. So you could hear that melancholy. When Sonny Rollins is interviewed, the results are always compelling. But getting him to sit down for an interview is another story. I've known Mr. Rollins for decades, been working with him closely, producing his website and uh, videos for almost five years now. And it's very, very difficult to sit down to a video interview with Sonny Rollins. He doesn't like to be videoed, followed around when he's performing, when he's touring. He doesn't like to be videoed when he's performing. He doesn't like to be videoed. Keep that camera away from him. I worked on some really cool projects this year in different kinds of forms, including a series of videos I did for Mosaic Records. I used to be so fancy free, but now I'm lonesome as can be to one lucky day. You came my way. I never knew what love was all about until I met you. 
I produced a number of videos for Concord Records this year, including a 10-part Ray Charles Genius podcast series. Got a taste of that feeling. You know, that's what Ray's about. The whole thing is about feeling, and I love that. To me, that's what music is about, feeling. If you don't feel something, then it's just all head cheese. Well, to me, something's missing. I got to feel it. Like Ray said, you got to feel it, baby. <laughs> After all is said and done. The Centennial Collection series, a video celebrating the 100th birth anniversary of Ben Webster, Lester Young, Art Tatum, Lionel Hampton, and Johnny Mercer. Ben is the reason I play balance that way that I try to play now because uh, he was such a wonderful example. And he was the, the kind of guy, I heard him night after night playing, sounding like that and on other songs. And it was just, uh, I said, I, I wanna make the piano sound like that. As well as uh, videos for the Miles Davis, Sonny Rollins Prestige Collection. You remember that? Yeah. You, are you on that? Yeah. 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 But that was made at Miles's, Miles's record date. It was Miles. Yeah. In 51 with Miles. Okay, I guess it was his date since he was there. Yeah, that's when we did Blue Room and all that. Da okay. da da da. Right. And down. Da 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 Sidesteps, John Coltrane's Sidemen gigs from the Prestige era. Bob Weinstock talks about how he heard, you know, a poet in the studio. From that first session, Bob Weinstock knew that he was going to be recording this artist as a sideman, as a leader, but he was going to definitely be caught recording John Coltrane. Well, I spent the second half of October in Taiwan, visiting my daughter Leela and her husband Andrew in Taipei, where they teach English. It was great to be out of the United States for a couple of weeks, and it was fun to be immersed in a different culture, just full of visual excitement for a filmmaker. I'll be going back to Taipei. I feel very blessed to be doing this work, working with the musicians I work with and getting the feedback from my global audience on YouTube and Facebook and through email. A woman wrote to me recently on YouTube and asked, who produces all of your stuff? It looks so professional. Of course, I had to tell her that I'm a one-man band. I do everything myself. Uh, there are certain benefits and certain challenges uh, working like this. Paychecks can be infrequent and there's no health insurance, but there's also no bureaucracy. I basically produce what I want when I want to do it. Working in this way I think is, is rather unprecedented. If someone had told me when I was in NYU film school in the early 70s that a number of decades later I'd be creating videos about jazz musicians as a one-man crew, shooting them and editing them and then distributing to a global audience, and nothing like this has ever been possible before. So I feel very lucky and very excited to be part of this whole medium. I live in gratitude and I know that uh, life is very unpredictable. All structures are unstable. I don't know what's coming in 2010. Like any year, I'm sure there'll be some joy, some pain, hopefully a few more laughs than tears. One of my favorite writers, Ben Hecht, at the end of a very wild and successful life was asked by some writers if he had any secrets about life. And he said, I don't know anything about life except how to keep going. Mm -hmm.